Hello everyone, you're still listening slash watching so your eyes and ears are working correctly. Congratulations, I'm a doctor. No, I'm actually Ben, that's Dan over here, and we are with Tyson hey. from Toy Box Games. Hey everyone. Tyson, you're here to, uh, showcasing in yep. the uh, the old indie game development area. That's correct, second year this time. Second year. Yeah, now, is there good. a limit on how many years you can be in there? Not that I'm aware of, as long right. as you basically uh, submit your game and they're like, yeah, that's cool, then it's all good, you <laughs> yeah. can rock up. <laughs> you get to graduate, graduate indie game section and then you're not allowed back. Yeah, that's it, I'll never come back ever <laughs> I again. I wish getting like, a get job out. was that easy. You just, <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, I, suppose, I yeah. suppose it's once you've hit like, once you're not an indie anymore, once you've hit AAA, you're not allowed back. Yeah. Well, now, yeah. What, what's your position? What do you have to do with uh, Fireborn? Uh, so um, I'm creative director along with co-owner of Toybox Games. Awesome. Uh, so my position basically involves general overview of the game in general. Uh, but being indie, we're indie plus, we have to do many other things. So I'm responsible for all of the level development, design. Oh, wow. Um, along with uh, my producer, Yasin, who also does some design as well. So, so we're responsible for all of that. Awesome. Yeah. You play a lot of Mario Maker then. Uh, no, actually, I don't. I did go through like Minecraft for a while, but in my Ooh. my um, throwback would have to be to like Halo 3's Forge. Oh, That's right. when I really fell Dude, in love I was with like, all over level that. design and stuff. Was I the used best, to just yeah. build castles of forklifts yeah, right? and stuff and then make everyone start at the edge of the map yeah. and you had to run in and get the one gun in the middle. Yeah, that was incredible. Did you say hey, you built yeah. castles of forklifts? Yeah, just put all forklifts on top yeah. of each other. As in forklift forklifts. Yeah, yeah, like proper forklifts, yeah. Because you can make Halo levels, you had all the elements, you could do whatever you want. It was well, pretty amazing. For it was amazing. fork's sake. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Fireborn. Uh, Fireborn. Uh, Primordial was Fireborn, the full title. Third person action adventure game. Uh, heavily story driven. For anyone out there who's a fan of like Spyro or Legend of Zelda, uh, Ooh, Banjo yeah, Kazooie, that kind of stuff, right? All those games that no oh, one likes. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> one likes, yeah, no. Nah. So kind of a throwback to that, but. Bring it into the modern era with almost a little bit of a mature story. Ooh, yeah. oh, right. So they um, do taxes and no, have special... No, not that kind. The uh, oh. the fun kind of mature. Not like yeah. in oh. Shemu where you just drive a forklift yeah, around. Yeah, none <laughs> of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you play as Ash, who is our primary uh, protagonist. Mm -hmm. He is an anthropomorphic phoenix. Uh, and he, nice. he whoa, wakes... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Tiger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an anthropomorphic phoenix. Phoenix. An anthropomorphic As in the Phoenix. firebird. Yes, a firebird. Yeah. So he's a man firebird. Correct. I'm getting it. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so Ash wakes up with no memory of who he is. Um, Except that he's an anthropomorphic Phoenix. No, he doesn't even know that. The first time he, he sort of... Fly him on fire! Yeah, the first time, he first, yeah, so at the start of the game, he kind of gets captured and then accidentally burns the prison cell to the ground. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of a, a, our precursor into the whole fact that there's a lot of fire in this game, hence the title Fireborn, right? Uh... That yeah. makes sense now. Yeah, All comes together. Yeah, and shit kind of just hits the fan after that. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now you uh, dealing with the Unreal Engine. We are dealing with the Unreal Engine. What is that like? Considering a lot of high end games are using that bad boy. Uh, I love it. So I started with UDK almost six years ago. So that was like UE three yep. at the time. So yep. we're at UE four now. Um, I don't know. Engine preference is just engine preference. Our team prefer Unreal. So Just because you've used it a lot yeah, and stuff so like that. We, we use it a lot. Um, we kind of like what... We've got a very art-heavy team, so it helps us a lot with the fact that like the post-processing post, -process, post -processing effects that they've got in Unreal and stuff like that are just ridiculous, right? Right. Um, and so it just makes it very easy for us to make very high visual fidelity sort of scenes and environments. I mean, if you've played the game, you've seen that we're kind of aiming for a really pretty yep. game, right? Yep. So um, Candy. Yeah, that's right. Visual candy sort of thing. Uh, and Unreal makes that very, very easy. Yeah, right. Uh, especially here in Australia, we're kind of a minority in terms of developers. I yep. think it's fair to say that Unity's probably got the market share, especially here. Yeah. Uh, so we're from Melbourne originally, so especially in Melbourne. Uh, but Unreal's, you know, it's getting its foothold. And especially since you've got, like, developers like with us at Toybox, and then next to us was the uh, crew behind uh, Brief Battles. Okay, so yeah, they're, yeah. they're doing Unreal as well, and it's really cool to see, like, a bunch of, like, you know, indie teams that are adopting this miraculous AAA engine and, like, just pr pumping out some really, really impressive well, I mean, uh, Octopath Traveler uses it, right? right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That game yeah. is amazing. Exactly right. Yeah, it's, like, it's crazy. It's just, yeah, it's awesome. Does your game have RPG elements? Um, Kind of, but they're not, like, experience and levels yep. and stuff like that. It's more, more like we... Um, weapons? Ash, yes, so Ash grows as a character as you progress through the world, right? So... Um, as he sort of accesses memories from his past life, 
uh, you unlock game mechanics that allow you to do more stuff and you get stronger that way. Nice. Uh, yeah. I don't want to talk too much about the story and how yeah, that stuff goes. Don't give it away. Spoil it all now. Absolutely just not. Just get it all out. In yeah. the I mean, we'll yeah. just pass it on to our dozens of listeners. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, is yeah. Brayden? <laughs> um, so, is it, it, it is it released at the moment, or is, uh, it, in, um, is it still behind closed yeah, doors? No. So we're pre-alpha. Um, yep. To be honest, even though we're kind of keeping the story under wraps, we've been pretty like free spirited with what we've been giving away and showing people especially yep. on like social media yep. we don't have the liberty of being a big triple a company with millions of dollars to hide everything and then be like yeah you're all gonna like your heads are gonna explode yeah, when we release get, it right you need to get people hyped about exactly it exactly right yeah. so that's what we're doing so um you know one of uh our first major bosses is a primordial so primordials are these creatures that you seek out throughout the world and that's like a giant 60 foot stone gorilla so <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Anthropomorphic so, phoenix fighting a stone gorilla. Yeah. Oh. If that hasn't got you sold, I don't know what will. Yeah, it's what's wrong with you? A thing of beauty, for sure. Why do you yeah. even play games? <laughs> yeah. Um, now, what's the difference between alpha, pre-alpha, beta? We've spoken to other devs today, and I've gotten the term wrong every single time. Yeah, cool. So, um, basically, you've got the concept stage, right? right. This, is a, this is a personal take. You'll get different responses from every developer, right? Oh, good. But roughly... You've got your concept stage, which is where you're conceptualizing stuff, but you haven't really built anything, right? Okay. Pre-alpha, which is where we're at now, which yep. is you're basically building the game, but you don't really have it so that you can start at the game and then finish the game. Right. So you've got chunks here and there. Yep. So we've got like maybe half our levels completed and stuff like that, and then other ones that are so bare bones you can barely even you walk just, through you're it, You're right? walking, you're full. Yeah. <laughs> then you've got alpha. Uh, alpha, generally, at least for us, will be we'll do a lot of in-house testing where the game's pretty much complete minus a lot of bugs and maybe some a few features that we want to add yep. uh, then you go to beta that's when you generally introduce the public a hell of a lot more right. um, get it get uh, get it out there for people to play test because you know it, uh, you could spend a thousand hours playing your own game and the first day it goes out someone will find a bug that you never expected to be there sort of thing and you'll be in yeah. that boxing game People yeah, work. that's exactly right. <laughs> so that's beta, and then when a when a project goes gold, that basically means that it's on the disc or yep. it's yep. digitally ready, and it can go out there and it's ready. Or to go. ready to go out yep. and put on the disc, and then yeah. a day one download patch that takes exactly four hours right. to download. Yeah. You should just bring it out first step, and then just download. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then uh, oh, it's broken. We'll bring it out later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when can we look forward to playing this a little bit more if we're not in Avcon? Uh so. The next time we'll be showcasing it publicly will be at PAX Australia. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we'll be there in a couple of months uh, where we will be showcasing the gorilla boss fight as well. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, I wish I good. could be there, but I'll be in Japan that time. Dan, maybe I mean, you can go over. That sounds pretty good, though, yeah. like, to oh, be yeah. fair. Me and yeah. Brayden is going to have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, awesome. And uh, where are you working to towards the release? Have you got a, uh, an idea for a release date? or? Look, it's honest. honestly, it's a when it's finished sort of deal. Yeah. Um, being an indie team and limited on funds, we can kind of only really invest personal time. So yep. we don't even, we're not even like full time or anything like yep. that. Uh, so look, if I was going to give you a soft launch within the next two years, if Sweet. we like, if we're successful with like Kickstarter in like a year when we want to do it then, and that bumps up the rate, then I could say in like a year and a bit. But I don't want to give any hard fast because one of the things that always upsets me is people give a date and then they realize, you oh, break it, yeah. we've got so much to do, let's push it back. And then people get upset. So if I'm just like, look, when it's released, you'll be the first to hear about it. Yeah. Uh, sort of thing. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like Have that. you got a, uh, a preferred platform you'd like to bring it out on? Uh, so it's definitely coming out on PC just for us. because Steam? It's Steam for sure. Uh, just because it's super easy to deal with. Yeah. Yep. But I'm not going to lie. I My head would explode if I was able to announce that it's coming out on Switch. Yes. Like, in my opinion, the game's built for Switch, right? Yeah, you've, you've probably um, got a really good chance. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, yeah. It's, uh, we've had a lot of local de developers in Melbourne who've had the opportunity to be on the Switch, and it's, it's incredible. And, I mean, any of the other consoles, Xbox, I grew up as an Xbox fanboy, yep. but I grew up with my PlayStations as well. So, I mean, anything. I think I'm just going to lose my mind when I see someone who isn't me playing the game for the first time, so I don't really care what it's on. We're the uh, same when we see someone watching this yeah. for the first time. <laughs> Hopefully we see it that one day. Like a proud parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my boy! Yeah. That's my game! Yeah. So where can we find out more? Uh, follow us. Uh, so you can follow us at, at TBX Games. So TBX Games, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Uh, and then I'm on Twitter pretty often as well, so you can go uh, at TJ Atomica. So that's TJ a T O M I C A. Uh, I'm constantly putting stuff up, and you can keep up to date there. And then, lastly, there's our website, which is uh, toyboxgamestudios.com. Awesome. Excellent. So go to those places and watch it with your eyes, because we already discovered at the start they're working fine. 
Tyson from Toybox Studios, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing more of your game as it comes along. Wonderful. Cheers. Awesome. Congratulations.